Now we're going to learn about billing in sales and distribution in SAP. The topics we'll be covering today, they are how to create and change a billing document, how to post a billing document, structure of the billing document, mm -hmm. effects of billing document, output setup for the billing document, and posting a payment. So in the order to cash cycle, in this step, we're going to talk about the billing step, which is a fourth step. Let us start with the business example. You are a member of the project team that is implementing the sales and distribution processes in SAP ERP. The final steps of Many sales and distribution processes are the creation of an invoice and the posting of the corresponding incoming payment. You make yourself familiar with the respective process steps. Billing. So earlier we created um, some delivery documents and from, the deli from those deliveries, now today we're going to create the billing document. So that's the menu path, logistics, sales and distribution, billing, billing document, or you can directly use the transaction VF01. So let me log into SAP. So in the previous lecture, you have seen up to this step. So up to PGI, we have completed in the previous lectures, and now the final step in from SD side is the billing or invoicing. So if I open the delivery document that we for which we created the PGI last time, was this. So this that was the document. Now if you want to create the billing, so you can go to the menu path which is logistics, sales and distribution, billing, billing document, VF01, open it. And here you can paste the uh, document number, which is the delivery document number, not the sales order number. Okay, so I repeat again, not the sales order number, billing document number. I'll talk about later on that when we use the sales document number, but if you use the sales document number here, it will not work. And if when you enter the uh, document number for the delivery here and suppose you have not finished the PGA step then you can't create the billing it will show you the error here so but for this for this case I have created the billing doc the PGI then it will work so paste the number here for the delivery document and press enter when you press enter it will open the uh, the invoice screen the billing screen it will copy all the data from the previous screen to the this screen like the material code the quantity pricing and everything so all we need to do is to just just display it and save it so when you save it it will generate the billing document and by default it's picking up invoice type 2 see here if I you can see it's F2 here so what F2 is F2 is the invoice there's so many different types of invoicing like credit memo, debit memo, pro forma invoice. We'll talk about them later on. But for this case, the default one will be F2, you can see here. And so there are some others. And how the system pick up the default one, we'll talk about the, in the later customizing videos. For now, you, you see, see this screen and you can click on the save button on the top. So if you save, click on the save button, it will, that's it. At the bottom, you can see it's saying that docker number. 9039970 is saved. So if you want to see this, you can use VF02 and uh, sorry, VF02 only transaction and open it. So that's a billing document. So here we have completed the billing now. And now if you see the document flow, you can click on the document flow here. The same thing you can see here uh, after delivery, that's a uh, invoice that we just created and some accounting document will be created automatically. So that means with billing step or invoicing step, 
what the thing that will happen automatically is which can be automatic which can we can control it whether you want to do it automatic or not which is a accounting document will be generated automatically you can see here that these are the documents generated when you see it from the if I open the delivery document and when you go to the disp, uh, disp document flow when you see from the delivery document point of view it will show the the transfer order and PGI but when you see from this view which is a billing view it will not show you the warehouse uh, transfer order number so that's the final step which is the invoicing is done and that will complete the SD side which is the order delivery transfer order then you got PGI and then invoicing that's it so that's the completion of the order um, we can also combine I'll talk about this one later on we can combine two deliveries sorry we can combine two delivery documents into one billing document or or from one delivery document we can we got two items we can split the billing so that can be controlled as well that is controlled by customizing that we'll talk later on how to do this so just some theory behind billing the main type of the billing document is the invoice which is F2 the one that I was showing you before this one F2 open this so that's the F2 is the main invoicing type as I said, we'll talk about the details of F2 in the custom, uh, customizing videos later on. The main type of billing document is the invoice. The creation of invoices is often the last step in the sales and distribution process. You can create invoices with reference to outbound deliveries if you have delivered physical product to the customer. So, or with a reference to the sales order if you have sold service. So that means when we uh, again it's controlled by customizing but when we talk about the delivery of the physical product then the billing is created with reference to the outbound delivery but when it's not a physical product rather than it's a service then there is no step that when there's a service that means there's no lo no logistic so when there's no lo logistics that means uh, the invoicing will be created with reference to the sales order in the service side so I'll write down here again just for a understanding that when you have um, say physical product which will obviously require the logistic processes uh, transfer order and PJ and all that in this case the billing will be referenced to the delivery or outbound delivery that we just done when we talk about the service product it's a service not a physical product in that case the billing will be referenced to the sales order not the delivery document because there's no delivery document in the case of service so probably we'll talk about this one as well later on again in more details The system can combine a number of preceding documents such as outbound deliveries in one billing document provides these doc these documents have the same values for some relevant characteristics such as pair billing doc date and destination country so that means you can have more than one delivery document and they can be combined into one billing document when when three when three of the features of three of the characteristics will match one is pair when the pair is same when the billing date is same when the destination country is same then you can combine it with the uh, into one delivery document so that that screen so here you can say you got one delivery two delivery they can be third delivery four delivery as well and they all can be combined into one delivery docu billing document when when these these characteristics will be matching so again we'll talk about this one in detail in detail later on the system can create invoices either online or as a background job to be executed during the off peak hours so basically what happens in the real time scenario in the real time the companies will not be creating the billing documents manually so they can be 
if they need to do it manually, even talk about the big companies, there can be thousands of thousands of invoices.